You know, for a series all about death... Mortal Kombat doesn't mean death, but life. Shut up, Raiden. For a series all about death, there really aren't that many canonical deaths in the Mortal Kombat games. At least compared to the number one might expect from a series with a reputation like this one. This video will discuss all the named character deaths in the main canonical story, but I might one day revisit the topic to discuss literally every death in even the non-canon material. So let's go back to the beginning and see if we can untangle this yarn ball of a cannon. Welcome to Cannonball. Backstory Deaths NK Deception reveals that the Elder Gods defeated the One Being and split its essence to create the realms. I'm pretty sure this counts as a death and would thus be the first ever death in the history of the MK Universe. Onaga was poisoned to death by Shao Kahn millennia ago as revealed in Deception. And no, MK Wiki, it was not 1000 years ago, Onaga was not the Emperor 9000 years after Khan took Edenia. Speaking of which, Katana's MK2 story explains that her parents, later named Jared and Sindel, were killed and overthrown by Shao Kahn 10,000 years prior. The cause of Jared's death is all over the place, with MK11 alone claiming three different characters to be responsible. Either way, his soul ends up as part of Ermac, as revealed by the latter's MK9 ending. As I recently addressed on Misconceptions, MK3 establishes Sindel's death as around the same time as Jared's, but the first specifics we got were when the film adaptation and MK Mythologies both made it a suicide. MK9 makes this suicide a ritualistic sacrifice, and MK11 makes it murder by Quan Chi's hand. You know my thoughts on these changes by now. The Great Kung Lao was beaten to death by Goro 500 years before MK1. With the changes made to the series premise in MK2, this was changed to 450 years ago. MK1 comic bios reveal that Liu Kang's parents, Li and Lin Kang, later changed to Liu, Li and Lin, are dead, and Sonya Blade's twin brother Daniel is dead. No further details are given. MK Mythologies Sub-Zero the first major death the series gives us is Scorpions at the hand of Bi Han in the backstory of MK1. Mythologies depicts this as the classic head rip fatality. As payment for Bi Han's success, Quan Chi annihilates the Shirai Ryu, including Harumi and Satoshi Hasashi. Bi Han seemingly kills the four temple guardians, including Fujin. He's alive by MK4, but his Armageddon bio claims that gods can reform after death, so they seem to have all been killed. Quan Chi later explodes, suggesting he dies too. Serena is seemingly killed by Shinnok, but Tournament Edition reveals she survives her wounds. Mortal Kombat Despite the tournament's premise, but life. the only confirmed death in MK1 actually occurs outside of the tournament. MK2's prequel comic reveals that Scorpion killed Bihan after the tournament. MK9 suggests this was done via decapitation, the same way Bihan killed him. Goro is presumed dead until MK4 reveals he survived, and Sonya's team from the MK1 prequel comic are presumably killed at some point as they never appear or get mentioned again. They are named Sparky and Jake. Sparky actually appears in the Malibu comics adaptation and is killed in the tournament by Kano. Mortal Kombat 2 Lieutenant Steve Barron is reduced to bones off-panel in the prequel comic. Melina's UMK3 bio states that she was killed by Katana during MK2. For his return in MK Gold, Baraka has giant staples in his body which many theorise to mean he was sliced in two by Kung Lao in MK2 and that's why he wasn't in MK3 until its third iteration. Shao Kahn turns to stone and explodes, but this doesn't seem to be canonical. If Shaolin Monks was intended to replace MK2 in the canon as Armageddon seems to suggest, then we have a lot more deaths here. The two monks stab out Jade's eyes with Melina's sigh, snap Reptile's neck, make Baraka explode, drop Scorpion into Netherrealm lava, get Ermac crushed under massive rocks, snap Shang Tsung's neck, tear Kintaro limb from limb, and shatter Shao Kahn after Raiden turns him to stone. Also, Johnny Cage kicks Goro so hard in the gut that he dies. And Jax gets Kano flayed alive by something in Khan's arena. Mortal Kombat 3 we learn that Johnny Cage has died. There's always been some ambiguity surrounding his exact involvement in the MK3 series, which I discussed in a previous episode, and then MK9 finally explains how he died, being impaled with a spear by Motaro. Kano is claimed to have been killed by Sonya in her MK4 ending, but Kano's Deadly Alliance Conquest mode reveals this not to be the case, as Motaro saved him. However, this mode also reveals that Motaro was killed by Shiva, who then formed an alliance with Kano to overthrow Shao Kahn, only for Kano to betray her and signal Khan to run her through with the sword. Shao Kahn explodes, but this doesn't seem to be canonical. Mortal Kombat 4 the fire, earth and water gods are all killed prior to the game by Shinnok's forces. Shinnok is claimed to be dead by Sonya in her ending, but this was never really confirmed, and MKX reveals that Elder Gods can't die period, but MK11 both maintains and contradicts this. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance Sector's Tournament Edition bio states that he overthrew the Lin Kuei Grandmaster. Liu Kang has his neck broken and his soul taken by Shang Tsung. Shao Kahn is likewise killed by the two sorcerers until Deception reveals he had used a body double. Goro is stated to have been killed by an assassin in Katana's bio, later revealed to be Noob Saibot in Tournament Edition, only for Deception to retcon this and have him survive. Mavado's Conquest mode heavily implies that he kills Cabal, but this turns out not to be the case in Deception. Frost seems to die in her ending, which Deception confirms, but she's revealed alive in Unchained. 
Most of the heroes die in the battle with the Alliance and the Tarkatans. Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade, Jax, Kung Lao and Kitana. Raiden then blows himself up along with the two sorcerers in a bid to kill Onaga, but fails. Quan Chi is later confirmed to have survived via teleportation in Shang Tsung's Armageddon bio. Mortal Kombat Deception. Cabal is revealed to have murdered Mavado and taken his hook swords back. Shujinko kills Onaga in his ending, which is made canonical by Armageddon. And since Onaga is possessing Reptile's body at the time, it's a safe bet that he dies as well. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Dagon at some point killed his parents, Argus and Delia, but they are revealed alive in some endings. The canonicity there is unclear, especially with MK9's retcons. Despite the massive battle the story revolves around, the only definitive fight to death in Armageddon itself is Blaze. Other characters take grievous wounds in the intro, but many aspects of it don't line up with the character allegiances and stories, plus those characters do still have endings where they win, making survival possible. But MK9 kills off everyone but Raiden and Shao Kahn, with some being brand new deaths and others just confirming the lethality of wounds from that intro. Here is a comprehensive list of what appear to be lethal wounds. Li Mei is impaled on Hotaru's Naginata. Striker is lasered in the chest by Kano. Shiva is hit by Nightwolf's arrow and run through with Kenshi's sword. Kenshi is run through with Quan Chi's sword and stomped on by Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung dies with Liu Kang's hooks in his shoulders, but the specific cause of death is unclear. Johnny Cage's head is torn off. Sonya Blade is torn in two. Jax is impaled on a spear. Noob Cybot and Sindel are both impaled with swords. I theorised Noobs to be one of Scorpions. Scorpion is impaled on Sub-Zero's Cody Blade. Sub-Zero is run through by Baraka's right arm blade. Baraka has his left arm severed while the blade is still in Sub-Zero's back, and his upper body is split in two by Kung Lao's hat. Yeah, I'm not sure why he appears to have two right arms either. Kung Lao is crushed under Shinnok's giant skeleton hands. Blaze is killed by Taven, clearly, but MK9 changes this to Shao Kahn, but MK11's retcon suggests these could be two different versions of events, and you can see why I hate that revelation so much. Raiden has his skull caved in by Shao Kahn's Wrath Hammer. Mortal Kombat 2011. Here the second timeline begins and things become easier to track thanks to the cinematic story modes depicting pretty much everything. Bihan is killed during the tournament by Scorpion via immolation. When MKX flashes back to these events, we learn a Shaolin master named Wen was killed in the Tarkatan attack on the Wuxi Academy. Kung Lao's neck is broken by Shao Kahn in the Outworld tournament. Motaro is smashed through a bridge by Raiden during the invasion. Shang Tsung's soul is taken by Khan and used to empower Sindel. Noob Cybot is launched into the Soulnado by Nightwolf and seems to die, but he claims otherwise in MK11. But then he also claims to not lose when the exact opposite is true, so... Sindel... Stomps on Cabal's chest, punches Striker in the face, crushes Cyber Sub-Zero's chest cavity with a single punch, stabs Jax in the throat with her high heel, breaks Smoke's neck, rips out Jade's heart and drains Katana's life force before Nightwolf uses powerful magic to kill himself and her. Liu Kang is accidentally killed by Raiden's lightning. MK11 claims this happens in every timeline, but MK11 can get stuffed. Shao Kahn is exploded by the Elder Gods for his defiance, and it's finally canonical this time. Sonya's ending has the ghost of her father, Major Herman Blade, appear, suggesting he died between the tournament and now. Sexor's ending depicts him once again slaying the Grand Master to usurp control of the Lin Kuei. Mortal Kombat X. The fire, earth and water gods are again suggested to be killed prior to the game by Shinnok's forces. Devora impales Baraka's head with her stingers during the time skip. Mortal Kombat X Comic Shuchin Takahashi is shot dead by a red dragon assassin. Suhao's skull is caved in by Scorpion in the opening pages. Forest Fox is split in two with a sword by Takeda. Kotal Ketz's head is caved in by Goro with Shao Kahn's Wrath Hammer. Kotal Khan returns the favour by crushing King Gorbak's skull with his bare hands. Mavado's stomach is sliced open by Kazi Cage with his own hook swords. All of Sonya's squad, Bar herself and Johnny, are killed in the battle with the Shokan, with two being named. Pierce is torn in two off panel, and Sean is split in two with a giant axe. Tremor is shot in the back by Sonya and seems to die from it. Havoc shoves a hand into Hanzo's gut, and I'm pretty sure it kills him. Scarlet's legs are exploded by Melina, which she claims won't kill her, but Kotal says in MK11 that she is dead by then, so she may have overestimated her own healing ability. Reiko is melted by blood magic as part of Havoc's scheme. Hanzo kills his inner scorpion, which technically counts, even if it's just a metaphor. Kintaro's head is torn off by the possessed Sonya. Havoc's severed head is crushed underfoot by Quan Chi. An MK11 writer has said he survives this, but that's stupid. Morlock is decapitated by Katana. Dramon is reduced to a skeleton by Quan Chi. Sector is decapitated by Sub-Zero. Cyrax blows up the Cyber Factory and dies in the process. Mortal Kombat X. Again. Devora gives Melina a kiss of death to have bugs devour her flesh. Quan Chi is decapitated by Scorpion. Borai Cho is beaten and blasted by Shinnok and disappears after he stops moving, seemingly suggesting he died. Some pre-fight intros in X and 11 make claims of character deaths, but I'll leave out the ones that clearly don't fit with the story mode canon like Shang Tsung killing Ermac. Eren Black claims to have killed Cobra. Mortal Kombat 11. 
The crypt is non-canon as proven by Kano's death not lining up with either timeline. And do not get me started on the many timelines in between. Vera Briggs dies of unknown causes between MKX and Eleven. In an intro, Devora claims Ferra and Tora are dead, possibly by her hand. Goro is said to have been killed by Kotal as per the second season of the MKX comic that was never made. Numerous Melina and Rain intros claim Tanya is dead by Kotal's hand, but Melina's presence is non-canon so the same might apply to Tanya's fate too. Sonya dies when she detonates the explosives to destroy Shinnok's spire. Dark Raiden is erased from reality, which I'd say counts, but I don't consider the later time reversal as one. Garrus dies a number of times, but he comes back so quickly that it's not even worth being specific. Past Cyrax seems to die in the same way he did in the comic, but one intro claims otherwise. The Elder Gods are wiped out by the time merger, I think. Johnny says his Dad was an asshole! seemingly suggesting that Robert Carlton has died since the first tournament. Kano detonates past Sector to destroy the SF base. Sonya shoots past Kano in the head, resulting in present Kano being erased. Devora stabs Hanzo in the chest with the poison stinger and he dies soon after. Cetrion gives her soul to Kronika to power her up. Fire God Liu Kang burns Kronika to crystal and shatters her. Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. Revenant Nightwolf's soul is taken by Shang Tsung. Twindel kills Shiva, apparently. Garrus' skull is caved in with the Wrath of Khan. Khan or Twindel throws past Kung Lao into the Sea of Blood, presumably drowning him. Kotal Khan is decapitated. Shang Tsung probably kills Nightwolf. Despite having their souls taken, Raiden and Fujin survive. Cetrion gives her soul to Kronika to power her up. Again, Twindel impales Revenant Katana and Jade on her Quan Dao. Revenant Kung Lao has his neck broken by Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung takes Shao Kahn, Twindel, and Kronika's souls. Either Fire God Liu Kang reduces Shang Tsung to dust, or the Sorcerer takes his soul. And that is, I believe, every notable death in the main MK canon. For the final tally, I'm not including anyone who wasn't in Armageddon's intro because there's no real proof they took part in the battle. I may have missed some, and there'll be a pinned comment about that if so. If you liked this video, why not subscribe and support me on Patreon like these fine people here? If not, then make sure to share it with your enemies so they can suffer along with you. Today's recommended video is Mortal Kombat Fatalities That Are Now Brutalities by Death Mule. I was going to go for one of those three hour compilations of every finisher ever, but they've all got cringy intros that go on forever and this is more interesting anyway.